Hi, it's Katrina. From a statue that sang at sunrise to a shocking new revelation of a mummy thanks to new technology, here are 10 of the most mysterious archaeological discoveries ever. Number 10. The Singing Statues The Colossi or Colossus of Memnon are two of the most mysterious statues in all of Egypt. Also known as the Singing Statues, they are two huge statues found on the bank of the River Nile near Luxor in the Theban necropolis. Each statue measures about 60 feet tall, built during the 14th century BC. They were built during the reign of Pharaoh Amenhotep III, who ruled Egypt 3,400 years ago. They originally depicted the pharaoh sitting on a throne with his hands on his knees and his gaze facing the river. Thousands of years ago, they were guarding Amenhotep's memorial temple. The temple has mostly been destroyed by now, though some of its ruins are still there. The mystery behind the Colossi of Memnon is that they used to sing. As crazy as it sounds, the statues once made strange musical sounds at dawn, shocking early Greek and Roman tourists. These same tourists didn't know what the statues really represented, and thought that instead of being built for a pharaoh, they were representations of Memnon, a hero from the Trojan War. Memnon was the king of Ethiopia and fought against the Greeks on the side of the Trojans, but he was slain by Achilles. Legend goes that Memnon was the son of Eros, the goddess of dawn. After Memnon's death, his mother shed tears each dawn in mourning for her lost son. The Greeks and the Romans thought it was Eros herself here in this place, weeping. But if it wasn't the goddess, then what were these sounds? In 27 BC, there was an earthquake that caused the top of one of the colossal statues to collapse and the rest of it to crack. From then on, the statue began to sing or make a whistling or moaning sound when the sun rose. The rising temperatures at dawn caused dew to evaporate inside the cracks of the statue creating a sound that could be heard floating across the desert. Number 9. The Antikythera Bronze Arm The Antikythera shipwreck has been named the most intriguing shipwreck in the world. It is most famous for the Antikythera Mechanism, a contraption filled with gears and what appear to be machine pieces, believed to be the world's first computer. Even though the wreck was first discovered in 1900, more recent expeditions to explore the wreck have revealed even more incredible and mysterious treasures. In 2014, archaeologists started a new project to explore the site using modern technology. So far, they have found hundreds of objects. Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, working with the Greek Ephorate of Underwater Antiquities, have found a strange bronze arm, and nobody's sure what it was a part of. It was probably part of a bronze statue, but the rest of the statue has yet to be uncovered. The team has also found many sculptures and revealed the location of at least nine more hiding under rocks on the seafloor. They also found a bronze gear that could be part of the Antikythera mechanism. A marine archaeologist described the wreck as a tractor-trailer truck wrecked on the way to Christie's auction house for fine art. It's just amazing! Even more bizarre is that the team also discovered a skeleton belonging to someone who went down with the ship over 2,000 years ago, something that almost never happens with shipwrecks because the bones are usually picked apart by underwater creatures. From the Antikythera mechanism to the bronze arm, plus the mysterious skeleton, the mystery of this shipwreck just keeps getting more and more interesting. How did the ship sink? Why did it have so many treasures? There's lots more still to uncover. Number 8. Ancient Fingerprints Archaeologists excavating a complex of ancient buildings at the Ness of Brodgar archaeological site in Scotland have found a mysterious fingerprint left over on a clay vessel made over 5,000 years ago. Archaeologists have been investigating the Neolithic site since 2006, and this is the first time they ever discovered a real human fingerprint. It was first noticed by a ceramic specialist named Roy Towers as he inspected a massive collection of late Neolithic grooved pottery recovered from the area. He had to use something known as reflectance transformation imaging to confirm that the print was indeed from a human finger. With additional investigation, archaeologists are hoping the fingerprint can reveal the age and gender of the potter who left it behind. According to Nick Card, the excavation director for the site, people often forget about the ancient people who crafted the artifacts at rare archaeological locations like this. But Nick says the discovery of the fingerprint is really bringing the ancient people back into focus. 
It's giving the archaeologists a more personal connection to the Neolithic people of ancient Scotland who left all these amazing relics behind. The fingerprint itself won't yield any huge revelations about our ancient ancestors, but it's still a pretty fascinating discovery, and it makes you wonder why more fingerprints haven't been found at other ancient places around the world, especially in things made by hand. Number 7. Ancient Assyrian Artifacts More mysterious artifacts were discovered recently in Iraq. Very rare Assyrian carvings dating back 2,700 years to the rule of King Sargon II have been found, showing further proof of just how powerful the Assyrian Empire was during the 8th century BC. Back then, King Sargon ruled a huge part of the Middle East and was greatly feared by all other kingdoms in the area. A team of Italian and Iraqi archaeologists uncovered the stone reliefs adorning an ancient canal system dug into the rock. The carvings were beautifully crafted. In fact, the carvings were so brilliant that archaeologists were stunned because things like this are usually found only in royal temples and palaces. According to Danielle Bonacosi, an archaeologist working on the project, Assyrian rock reliefs are very rare monuments. No such panels have been discovered since 1845, and it's believed that most of them are hidden underneath the soil and will probably never be seen by human eyes. But the presence of such striking stone artwork on the remains of what was once nothing more than a canal goes to show that the old Assyrian Empire was likely a shimmering jewel of the Middle East, with highly detailed artworks all throughout the kingdom, not only in places of high value like temples and palaces. Unfortunately, nobody really knows what these stone carvings mean. This area of Iraq has been closed to researchers pretty much since the 70s meaning that efforts to decode the society of the ancient Assyrians have been seriously stunted. What we do know is that the stone carvings appear to show King Sargon II and a procession of mysterious Assyrian gods, with one of them riding a dragon. Number 6. The Stones of Baalbek The largest monolith on Earth will probably surprise you. It's not in Egypt, it's not in England, and it's nowhere in the Americas. The largest worked monolith on Earth is known as the Stone of the South, and it's located in Lebanon, at the site of the Baalbek Temple. The stone at Baalbek weighs an outstanding 1,242 tons. It was likely intended to be part of the temple foundation, located just over 3,000 feet away. But the huge stone of Baalbek proved too much for the workers to handle. They did somehow manage to move some stones that weighed up to around 800 tons into the temple and raise them over 20 feet into the air. This outstanding feat of engineering has been forgotten, but the builders were able to place these ginormous blocks with machine-like precision. This one specifically just couldn't be done. But wait, because there are other stones that have just been discovered that were also meant to be a part of the massive temple. A team of archaeologists have found another stone buried in the dirt a few feet away from the Stone of the South that could be even bigger. So far, it's over 60 feet long and they haven't even finished digging yet. According to those working on the project, this new block of stone is adding to the mystery of this ancient site. But let's look at the actual temple these stones were intended to be used with. The Temple of Baalbek is a site shrouded in mystery. All we know is that the Romans called it Heliopolis and that the area around the temple has been occupied since the Bronze Age. Some say it could be the Phoenicians who built it. Others say it was the Biblical Canaanites. Others say it was crafted by giants because of how immense the blocks are that make up the temple's foundations. The truth is that we don't know who built it or how they put together building blocks over 1,200 tons in weight thousands of years ago. Number 5. Children's Handprints over 100 mysterious handprints have been found on the walls of a cave in Mexico. The handprints were put there by children over 1,200 years ago. Scientists now believe the handprints may be part of a mysterious and unknown ritual practiced by the ancient Maya, in which children were ushered into adulthood. At least 137 handprints have been found in black and red paint. The cavern in which they were discovered is located at the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. What's really interesting is that according to archaeologist Sergio Grosjean, black represents death. But this doesn't mean that the children were to be killed. Instead, the black paint probably represented death from a ritual perspective. As for the red paint, it probably referred either to war or life. The combination of both suggests some kind of connection between life and death and the coming of age. 
At the time these handprints were left in the cave, the Maya were going through their classical zenith period. In other words, they were at their peak in everything from art to agriculture. Strangely, this is the only evidence found anywhere in the ancient kingdom of this handprint coming-of-age ritual, showing us that there is still much we don't know about them. Number 4. Archaeological Bunnies a family of bunny rabbits accidentally became archaeologists when they made a major discovery on a small Welsh island. The rabbits excavated an ancient shard of pottery and mysterious Stone Age tools while trying to burrow a new home. The wardens of the island, Richard Brown and Giselle Eagle, noticed the fresh rabbit hole and decided to take a look. That was when they saw the ancient artifact sticking out of the dirt. An archaeologist from the National Museum in Wales was quick to confirm the tools as being from the Stone Age. As for the pottery shard, it was made significantly later. The shard is just shy of 4,000 years old and was part of a burial urn from the Bronze Age. The tools were made by hunter-gatherers about 5,000 years before that. How both of the relics ended up being excavated by a rabbit on a tiny Welsh island is a mystery. What we know so far is that for thousands of years, people have been returning to the area and leaving behind pieces of their history. But why would they return to this tiny island over and over again? The answer is that they were probably preparing seal skins and building boats. Either that, or they were using the island as a massive graveyard. We won't know the truth until someone starts digging up bones. Number 3. Incan Walls the Incan Wall Complex at Sacsayhuaman is one of the most controversial archaeological discoveries anywhere in Peru. The complex was built by pre-industrial Incans and is considered a great marvel of engineering. Some of the biggest blocks ever used in Incan construction were used at this location, with blocks fitting together so tightly that the Incas never needed to use mortar, and even today, the blocks are so firm against one another that you can't even slip a piece of paper between them. This has caused some to speculate that the Incans used alien technology in developing this ancient city. The truth is that the Inca probably just had highly advanced engineering skills. They knew how to carve rock with exact dimensions to play a prehistoric game of Tetris. But unfortunately, the Spanish cannibalized Sacsayhuaman during their takeover of Cusco. Not literally, but you know, they destroyed the people, the towers, the battlements, and most of the walls. This has really hindered archaeologists in their fight to decode the ancient Inca and understand more about their impossibly complex and advanced building techniques. We still don't know how they did it. Number 2. A Pregnant Mummy In 2021, a pregnant Egyptian mummy was discovered for the very first time in a shocking revelation of archaeology. At first, archaeologists simply thought they had the mummy of an ancient priest. It wasn't until they scanned the mummy that they found evidence of tiny foot bones inside the mummy's abdomen. Further scans confirmed that the foot belonged to a fetus, still inside the womb of its mummified mother. According to Science Alert, this is the first time that anyone has ever found a pregnant woman who had been mummified deliberately. The mystery here is simple yet evasive. Who was the pregnant mummy? And why did they wrap her in bandages and stuff her into a sarcophagus with her fetus still inside? Nobody knows why the fetus wasn't first removed from the abdomen. But what's really cool is just how far we've come with our archaeological technology. The mummy and its sarcophagus were given to the University of Warsaw back in 1826. It wasn't until literally now that researchers finally found the fetus inside the mummy. The woman was also mummified with extreme care, a set of expensive amulets, and all the telltale signs of a wealthy person. Hopefully, with more investigation, archaeologists can find out who this obviously important woman was when she died just over 2,000 years ago. Number 1. The Karnak Stones The Karnak Stones have puzzled archaeologists for hundreds of years. The megalithic stones can be found outside the small village of Karnak in France. The stones show alignments and other ancient geometrics similar to other prehistoric megaliths across the world. But what's strange is that these stones here have boggled researchers to no end. There are about 3,000 of them at Karnak, erected by the pre-Celtic civilization sometime between 3,300 BC and 4,500 BC. First of all, how and why were the stones moved? It's true that Karnak is the largest megalithic site in the world, but researchers don't understand how the Neolithic people of Europe moved the stones over 30 miles to the middle of a barren field. On top of this, Researchers don't understand what purpose the stones served. 
They could have been used by druids in rituals, they may have been built in direct alignment with the stars, or they may have acted as markings for the borders of the Builder's kingdom. Basically, nobody knows for sure, but the Karnak stones are still some of the most well-preserved ancient stones on the planet. They are also around the same age as Stonehenge, yet far more complex and confusing. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious discoveries is your favorite? Which one was the most mysterious? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. See you next time! Bye!